Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels. Now, in this video, we're going to be checking out the Zenvo, and I haven't I haven't checked out this car at all. I, I opened up the game, and I was like, I've done pretty much everything so far that there is to do in the Hot Wheels pack, except for, look at this car. I, it's like, I, I haven't driven it yet, I haven't checked it out yet. I, wow, okay, damn, that trunk is kind of pitiful. But at the same time, I mean, it is a, it is a supercar, hypercar. I mean... Actually, what is is this a supercar or a hypercar? I mean, I kind of feel like it's a hypercar because it well, I don't know. It's it's weird because as we all know, this car is very good at catching on fire. I mean, we 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 all know that from a certain episode of a certain show that I shouldn't honestly have to name. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how much power it makes from the factory, and then we'll see what we can do to open up a little bit more. All we can do, okay, let's see. So we can do a few things. Stock, we're making 1,086 horsepower and 1,054 foot-pounds of torque. Let, oh, what the, an intake, jeez, okay, wow. Fuel system, another 32 horsepower. Pistons and compression, this is a big one, 1,170. Race turbos, 1,264. That almost makes, like, sport turbos kind of super pointless on this car. Uh, but let's get that done and dialed in. Intercooler, race intercooler, 1305 and 1266 torque. And a race flywheel. So, 1305 horsepower and 1266 foot-pounds of torque. Hopefully, that won't all turn into flames uh, when I hit the accelerator pedal. Ah, uh, the off-road suspension is not what we need. Race weight reduction puts us at 3,378 pounds with the full race weight reduction. It's actually a 4,000 pound car, which is kind of surprising. That's a little heavy for a car like this. But then again, a lot of these bigger hypercars do tend to be kind of heavy. So let's go ahead and get everything else done and dialed in. And then we'll just, I think what we'll probably do, well, you know what? I always say, eh, I'm probably not going to put, like, race tires. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. The thing is, the red stripe doesn't fit with this car, so I'm just going to go with the Horizon, like, the Horizon tire lettering. So 295s up front and 365s in the back because I guarantee you we're still going to spin them. Uh, the 365s are still going to spin, guaranteed. Uh, we're not really going to be able to... Um, hook up I don't think in any gear below uh fourth maybe third but th I doubt we're gonna be able to hook up in third uh let's see a lot of people were saying in the comments that I use ADV ones too often so I'm gonna try something else uh let's try a set of good god plus 49 pounds jeez but these HREs don't add any weight to it at all they look kind of good it's kind of nice too the 546 R's they're a really classic wheel. They've been in Forza for a long time. C103s uh, look good. Oh, the C106s look awesome. I think I'm going to end up going with the S101s. They look really good, and I think they set off the car pretty well. Now, uh, we're not going to make them any bigger, though, because we <laughs> I want as, much, I want as, as little weight as possible. As little weight and as much grip as I can get. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to actually put aero on this car because I have a feeling it's probably going to need it. Oh, the back of the car looks really weird, though, when you take the factory wing off and put the Forza wing. I'm going to put the Forza wing on so we can tune the downforce. Uh, but to be honest, like, conversion. Oh, okay, all-wheel drive. Yeah, we're not going to do that. That is not necessary uh, for what we're doing, at least in this build. This build, the whole purpose of this build is to... Find another, like, is to see if this thing can compete with the rest of the top hypercars. Because it's it's a really fast car. Don't get me wrong. It's an insanely fast car. But I just wonder, I, I just wonder if it can compete on that level with all of the other, um, all of the other hypercars once fully built. Let me go ahead and see what kind of designs are out there real quick. Uh, let's do a search. Well, actually, eh, yeah, let's do a quick search. Uh, let's try, let's just try fantasy, just for, just out of curiosity to see what comes up, and what do we have? We have, that's cool, actually, that's cool, too. A lot of cool designs in here. I like that, it's almost like, it's Tron-ish, but it's not over the top. It's not, wow. 
I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that Gold Rush design could have been a little bit better, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I can criticize designs, but at the same time, I'm not very good with the editor. Whoa! Dude, a Deadpool Zenvo. That's, that's legit. That's awesome. I, I can respect that. What else do we have here? That, well, eh, I don't like the placement of the flames. I'm going to go through a couple more designs, and then we're going to... Dude! Dude! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Acceleracer's Teku designs. That's amazing. The only thing is... Eh, I'm thinking this one would be a little bit better, but... Check a couple more things real quick, and then we're going to go with uh, one of those uh, Acceleracer's designs, because it looks so good. I didn't even think that people would make um, Acceleracer's designs for this car, but at the same time, it makes sense. And I actually now start, actually, I realize what car this looks like from the show as well. I don't remember the name of the car, but if you watch the show, you'll know what car I'm talking about because it looks so similar. And without any further ado, we're going to see how this thing actually drives. Because I think, honestly, dude, you can, you know, you can look at the numbers all day long, but how the thing actually drives is what matters most. I mean, again, we're running 365 wide tires in the back, so... Okay, first is wheel spin. Second is wheel spin. Third is a little bit of wheel spin. It definitely spins on the corners, but... Wow, it actually turns in really well. And once you get past, like, the top of third, it puts its power down amazing. So, ooh. I was kind of worried it wasn't going to have a seventh gear, but it does. And I'm so grateful for that, dude. Like, you have no idea how grateful I am for that seventh gear. Dude, the turn-in, even at extremely high speeds, is wonderful. Whoa! He tried steering towards me. No! God, no, 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 what the... What was that?! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I have no clue what happened. I genuinely have zero clue what happened right there. That was weird as hell. I mean, it, something, something was, something went weird or went wrong. <laughs> Woo, that was weird. But hey, I guess it, I, I, I mean, we made it back to the track, so we're all right. Um, let's see, actually. Are we in S2? I mean, we better be. S2, 980. Oh, that's way up near the top. Let's see how it does in a um, in an S2 race. Let's do rivals, S2 rivals, and change rival. Uh, not number one. Number, th <laughs> number one in the world would be a little tricky. Uh, let's see. Change filter... Near me, just to see my main time. Okay, so 135.2. Let's set it for... Let's set it for just a little bit faster, and then we'll see... Oh my god, so many 135, 195s. Uh, let's, let's set it for like a 134. We'll probably destroy that, but... Well, let's just set a random one, and just see how it, see how it is, and then... We'll, I mean, we'll probably beat that our first time out, and then we can probably come back and do a lot better. The, the trick is going to be to get to the front of the field. Uh, to get to the front of the field quicker than anybody else can. It's funny, though, because, like, I look at the track around the mountain, and that reminds me... Like, thinking of this car with the Acceleracers design, and then you think of the Acceledrome from Acceleracers. Oh, come on. Dang it, no! You know what? I'm just getting used to this track right now, so we're in Rivals, and I'm just gonna go ahead and see... Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do, because it's like, they already flagged our lap, so... Come on! We're actually... Uh, I think we're reeling them in! We're starting to, anyway. This thing's turn-in is so freaking good. It's like, it's n crazy. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay, 
That was a little sketchy. I was a little sketched out by the, uh, by the edge right there. But I'm trying to get familiar with this car and trying to get familiar with how it drives. It drives really well. It's like a, it's, it's weird. It feels more, I know the, I know the Venom GT is supposed to be a Lotus Elise with big power, but this feels more like a Lotus Elise with big power than the Venom does. And I feel like that's kind of saying something, considering the, the fact that the Venom started life as a Lotus Elise. Or, well, Exige, really. Come on, come on, 234, entering the Hyperloop. Flat down on the throttle, just flat. Oh, dear. That was really close. I mean, I'm thinking it was... Ugh. Our lap was sloppy, but I, th I know it can be improved. As far as I know, we're ahead of him. Oh my god! I was like, where's he at? <laughs> I was like, seriously, where's he at, dude? This thing puts down its power so well coming out of corners, especially for a rear-wheel drive um, S2 car. That's like, that's crazy good for putting its power down. He caught up to us upon landing, though, which is weird. Oh, little, ah, damn. Oh, he went wide. He pushed really far wide. I lost the tail just a little bit. Oh, he messed up here. He messed up bad here. Damn. Oh, I could definitely beat that with, like, with enough laps. I know exactly where I need to work on my lap, too. Damn, okay. Add that to the list. So there's three specific corners that I need to work on my lap with. But, dude, this car is amazing. It's the best grip out of any rear-wheel drive S2 car I've driven so far, it easily. That's crazy. Like... The amount of grip it has coming out of the Hyperloop is 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 on a level that I haven't really seen from many other S2 cars, if any. And this thing's torque is just, it's like stupid. In a good way, like in the best way possible. A little bit of modulation on the brakes, now it's hard on the throttle. I gave it a little tap of the brakes, too, coming out. He's squirrely on corner exit, which is, is funny because, like, normally those guys... Okay, yeah, that's where we're getting damage from, is from that landing. If you spend time with this car, you will... Whoa. Damn, every... Si okay, that corner, I, I... That corner is the one I need to dial in. And then if I get this one dialed in, we'll have his time. 100% will have his time. Go. Oh, damn. Go, 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 go. This one I messed up last time. And it was a little bit better. Damn, no. It's We need some more front camber. This thing does not have enough camber in the front. That's one of the things I want to tune. Because it's like... It's just there's more grip there. It just it can't pull off the um, it can't pull off those G's that I needed to pull God if this thing could go through that without lifting that would be like that would be the best like if And it's close. It's close to being able to go through it without lifting. It's just it, it's really sketchy like you would have to be let me try one more lap before I try and change the setup but you would have to be on the exact perfect line 100% of the time. I don't even know if it'd be possible to do that without lifting in this car. I feel like you might be able to come close, but like full on no lift? I don't know. Stay in the power. And up to fifth. Careful, careful, careful. I'm going to try to run the track a little high. Little dab of brakes. Oh, got so close. There he is, right... Dude, he's right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He keeps... 
Okay, he keeps washing out in the corner, but... Ooh, I, I washed wide in that corner. I wonder if he's got a power advantage on me, or at least if he has one, I wonder how big it is. Damn, what? With the honk of the horn and everything, jeez. Up and over, and up to seventh. Staying away from the wall. This is as far away from the wall as possible. Little dab of brakes, and a little bit of lift, and then back down the hill. Not much break at all, though. And break. Just trying to ease off the brakes at the... <gasps> oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I had two options. Lay on the brakes or lay on the throttle. And I chose lay on the... <laughs> lay on the throttle. But, um... I mean, we were able to beat him. We came within, like, three tenths of a second. It was, it was close. And technically, we won because it was a clean lap. But I'm... I'm gonna go ahead and be confident in saying that this car, even though we didn't technically beat that Rivals Challenge, that it's one of the grippiest, most well-sorted S2 cars I have ever driven. It's not sketchy to drive. It's not sketchy to drive at all. I'm gonna dial in a little bit more camber in the front and then see what it can do, but honestly, like, this is, like I said, like I said, this is one of the, uh, this is one of the the most planted, most well-balanced S2 cars that I have genuinely ever driven in Horizon 3. So if you haven't given this car a good enough look yet, definitely do it because you you should. You really should. It's, it's, it's a necessary addition to anybody's S2 library. And out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and dial in some of that. Let's see. Oh, dude, we didn't even dial the suspension in enough. Drop that down, uh, alignment, we're gonna go to negative two and a half, no, we're gonna go to negative three in the front, and we're gonna go to negative one and a half in the back, and we're gonna try it, well, yeah, we're gonna try it right there, like that, without changing anything else, we're gonna just try it and see how it feels through some of these other corners, and I'm gonna see if I can feel like an immediate difference. It feels pointier. It definitely feels pointier. I almost wonder, though, if... All right, here. Flat, 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 flat. Still flat, still flat. I, did, I never lifted. I never lifted. I never, ever lifted through the entire thing. Ow. <laughs> Let's go the other way and see what we can do, because that'll be a good way to gauge it, because... Oh, my God. The turn-in. The turn-in, guys. Oh, my God. This has the grip of, like... It, I don't know how to describe it. It's an... In, it's an... In, it, like... It's a nut job machine. It's an... Ins, it, like, it's absolutely insane. Shift at 7, or, well, like, 7,100, 7,200. Entering the loop at about 200 miles an hour, and shift up to 7th. All right, we're floored 7th gear little lift, and that was it. A little lift and, like, a tiniest dab of brakes, and that was... Oh, God, I missed the braking zone by a lot. Holy hell, I missed the braking zone by a lot. A hell of a lot. <laughs> but, yeah, no, dude. You guys need to build one of these, and I think now going... Like, if I went back into that event, I could do a hell of a lot better just with that setup change. So, it, do you need one? Absolutely. Like, guys, you absolutely... Oh, this car is so good. This is going to be my go-to S2 class from now on. But if you guys enjoyed this episode of Forza Horizon 3 Hot Wheels, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.